Hey guys, this is Tor from TC here, and um, we're going to do a tone print, another tone print with Sean Pierce Johnson. Yes, and, we are. And uh, when you were picking out the pedals for this, you picked up the Hall of Fame, and you basically, I, I got to let you explain what this <laughs> is, because this is going to be interesting. I would be happy to. Um, so I've always been searching for a sort of cave, cavern-like reverb, and, and none of them have really done it for me. And the way, the only way I can equate the sound is I want a reverb that sounds like Gandalf and the Balrog falling down from the bridge of Casa Doom down this long shaft of empty space. I've never heard a reverb that sounds like that, and I want a reverb that sounds like that. So we're gonna try to get a reverb that sounds like Gandalf and the Balrog falling down Casa Doom. And if that's not a reason to stay tuned, I can't find up any. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Cool. So the idea, would that be that you have some reverb on all the time and it goes crazier? Or would it be that there's nothing, it's dry, and then suddenly it goes like whoosh. The idea that I really think I'm most going for is more so the cavern sound. Yeah. Because there's there are obviously tons of reverbs out there, but none specifically I feel like they try to do the whole cavern thing, but it ends up being just this kind of I don't know. It fell it fell short of fe that feeling of falling through an endless abyss. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, that's uh... so it doesn't have to necessarily start out with nothing. It can always be there. Yeah. I just want to feel like literally like I'm drowning in it. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. Here's something. Here's a starting point. All right, let's go ahead and take off the distortion. Oh, yes. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put the decay up. Uh, yeah. How far does it go up? 20 seconds. 20 seconds? Yeah, let's just let's yeah. try it. Okay. Let's just keep it up all the way. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good start. Okay. Okay, so the next thing you can you can look into is basically the pre-delay. So how long does it take before the reverb kicks in, and that's actually, typically, that would be equivalent to the size of the room, because right. if you're right in the middle of a really big room, it'll take some time from you to, from doing that until it hits the wall, right. and hits you back in the head again. Mm -hmm. So it can go from nothing, which is this. It just starts immediately. Yeah, to this. And anywhere in between that. Right. Okay. Let's see. Max is 300. 300 seconds. Let's go to 150, go to the middle ground, yep. and let's just see where we go there. It's not like poosh. yeah. I because I mean you're you're falling. You're gonna hear it yeah. pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> okay, so the next thing or the next three things tie together, and it's a pretty important part of it because it's the EQ for the reverb. Okay, um, and we have a low cut and we have a high cut plus something we call high factor, which is a, like a part of that. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open it all the way up so that you get full bass response and full. Um, 
full treble response. Okay. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, just yeah. everything. <laughs> Give me the whole thing. It's the equivalent of cranking a Marshall. Like. Yeah, <laughs> you just got to turn everything on 10. Yeah. yeah. Cool. The next thing that we can look at, this is more on the subtle side, and it's, it's not going to be as obvious when you have such a big reverb. Right. Um, but a weird thing is, if you take somebody, you have somebody close their eyes, and you make them go into a room and say something, yeah. Just by listening to what's called the early reflections, right. you can actually hear, determine the size of the room. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we can control that in, in here. All right. Um, and typically for large rooms, you don't get a lot of early reflections because no. the tendency is that it's really big, so you don't hear that. But you know, seeing as we're not we're not trying to exactly simulate like a specific space, this is more like, you know a big, big sound. Mm -hmm. We can try to see if it makes a difference. I backed it all the way off to kind of simulate that big cavern. Sure. But we can. I can crank it up so you can hear the difference, and it's gonna... I, I'm not even sure you can hear it. <laughs> it's fine. But I, I, I'm game to, to see if I hear it, and I'm game yeah. to hear just what yeah. the heck it does. Okay. So now I'm cranking. And that's all the way up. Yeah. It's, it's a very subtle change, but... kind of it brings out a certain chime in the first note of yeah the very first uh, attack yeah okay cool. so that kind of brings us through the reverb part of it mm -hmm. and now the opportunities are to add like more extreme modulation than what we have here mm -hmm. which we can do through the actual sound or you could also if you want to get like crazy for the whole Gandalf thing we could <laughs> save it for that <laughs> <laughs> well the, the thing for me really with this particular sound is I just I want that feeling of just a natural space and yeah. you're falling through it. So anything too extreme really would just be more to explore for fun. Yeah. Uh, having said that, though, obviously there's an, a naturally occurring modulation as things yeah. go. But that we already have in there. What I was thinking was that we would at least, you know, with you describing that Gandalf thing, I was thinking that when you press it down and you have that idea of somebody falling, mm. that I, you could add some flanger to get that kind of swooshy kind of, you know, almost like the wind kind of okay. doing this kind of thing. All right, and that we could, could control. That with, would be controlled with this thing. Let's try that. Okay, cool. Let's try that. I'll bring it in now, just the way it is, and then we can always use the mass switch all afterwards to kind of Right now, I'm just adding it to okay. the score sound. Then I'll use the mix to bring it in afterwards. So let's see here. This one. Oh. Yep. There we go. So we want to do. We want to be able to control the mix of this thing. Okay, so we do this. So. Now there's nothing. Okay. And then we How's that working? Yeah, I like it. Cool. Casa Doom, you are mine. 